Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here. This is class number 245. I've been a photographer here in New York City for the last 50 years, and now it's my turn to give back to the photography community all of my knowledge, hints, tips, and tricks to get better photographs. And remember, the foundation of this channel is to get professional quality results in your photographs without spending thousands of dollars. All right, everybody, subscribe, comment below, give me a thumbs up, and email me. I'll answer any photography question you have for free. Just email me at blackandwhitephoto at aol.com, and I'll get back to you very what quickly. What do I mean? In many of my uh, previous videos, when it comes to cameras, that have a pop-up flash. I've always talked about these inexpensive, under $10 pop-up flash diffusers. That simply slide into the hot shoe of your camera. And when you fire the flash, it gets diffused for this. Now, these I picked a camera that's not the best, not the worst. It's a camera that's very, extremely affordable. Today, the camera I used to take the comparison photographs of available light versus just the pop-up flash versus the different types of diffusers is this. This is the Nikon D50. Yes, the Nikon D50. It was close to $1,000 when it came out back in 2005. But these cameras are great. They have, first of all, a CCD film-like sensor. A CCD film-like sensor. It's a six megapixel camera. Now, don't go crazy. Oh no, that's too low. I told you guys that six megapixels is fine for even professional work. What do you think in 2005 wedding photographers were using? 20, 30, and 40 megapixel cameras weren't even invented. They were using six megapixel cameras and they had a whole career using them. Okay, so let's get down to business. This camera has one SD card slot on the side and it has one battery slot on the bottom. Okay, the lens that I used in this uh, test, right, right, this exposition of pop-up flash diffusers was this lens. This is an exceptional professional lens. This is a 55 millimeter Nikkor lens. Nikkor is a Nikon lens. It's f2.8 autofocus. It happens to be a macro lens. I didn't use the macro function, but look at how deeply set the front element is. It goes in about two and a half inches built in sunshade, right? Okay. Why did I pick this lens? Well, because it's a it's close to a 50, right? Yeah, it's a little bit longer. It's f2.8. I wanted to pick a lens and a camera body that was accessible to everyone. The Why foundation I... to this channel is inexpensive gear, getting professional results. Okay, now this is what we're gonna do. We're going to look at a series right now of about four photographs. The first photograph you're gonna see, the model is gonna hold up a card that says no flash. So the flash was down and it was just taken with available light. Now, the settings, okay? The settings were, for this head and shoulder shot, were the Nikon D50, the Nikkor 55mm autofocus f2.8 lens, 
on a tripod. I'll show you slides of all the gear that I used in this shot. Now, the tripod was important because that kept everything as a standard, right? It kept it at the proper distance away from the model, right? At the same level, okay? The ISO was 400. I didn't really want to use 400, but the available light was so low, I didn't want to change anything because sometimes you can't change available light when you're out on a shoot right? If you don't want to use the flash. So I used ISO 400, auto white band right. F 2.8, wide open, okay? Uh, aperture priority. It, uh, the tripod was six feet away from the model. The model was three feet away from the wall. Okay. Uh, so first picture you're going to see of the model, she's holding up a card that says, no flash. Let's take a look at that. It's going to be pop-up flash only, no diffuser. In other words, straight out of the camera like this with no diffuser. The next one the model's going to show is holding up a card that says pop-up flash, diffused diffuser, hot shoe style. Hot shoe, hot shoe style diffuser. Okay. It's going to look like this on top of the camera. next photograph you're going to see, the model was holding up a card that says pop-up flash with lens style, lens mounted style diffuser. What's that? There's a diffuser out there that comes like this. twisted, right? You have to keep it either in a case or with a rubber band because once you let it go, watch this. This is the diffuser. Now, how do you use this diffuser? Some cameras don't have a hot shoe to slide at the slide on diffuser to or and or you want to use a regular flash, a regular flash that slips in here, right? You just take your lens, you push it through, and there you go. Pop up the flash. Okay. So this is what it looks like when you have a lens mounted flash diffuser on. Now you see the reason it's so tall is because you could, if you didn't want to use your pop up flash, you could just slip on your speed light right here and it would diffuse it. Okay? It looks a little awkward. It looks a little silly. But guess what? Who cares? This will not be in your photographs. The finished product will be in your photograph. So, okay. you've seen the four photographs. Uh, just the available light. Pop-up flash. No, light, no diffuser. Pop-up flash with the hot shoe style diffuser and the pop-up flash with the lens mounted diffuser okay i told you all about my settings right aperture priority f 2.8 wide open on the tripod iso 400 and uh if you haven't seen them yet i'll show you slides of uh, all the products that i used unsponsored i bought all this stuff i just want you guys to realize now when you look at the photos, I'll show them all again at the end of the video. When you look at them in order, uh, look for different things of how the diffusers help. They help with highlights on the cheek. They help with uh, remove the shadows, right? If the flash is coming this way, 
It helps nearly eliminate the harsh shadows by the nose, under the chin. Uh, also, I found, and the model agreed, that the color of her skin looked better with diffused pop-up flashlight. Okay, she liked the results better when either or, either diffuser was used. This one or this one. And both of these both cost under $10. Okay, I think I covered everything I wanted to tell you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Carmine from New York. Have a great day.